Hi, Amit. I put together this short video audit of your listing on Amazon, and it's my hope that I'll earn a phone call with you. My name is Sean, and I'm with the Seller Central Marketing Agency, My Amazon Guy. So look, I've got your Lift Fresh Dental Gel uh, pulled up right here. Now, before we go through the listing, one of the first things I like to do is take a peek behind the scenes. So I grabbed your ACE in here, and I pulled it over into Helium 10. So let's go take a look. All right, let's get me out of the way there. All right, fantastic. So within Helium 10, uh, you've got some keywords. You've got 3,000 sponsored and 5,715 organic keywords. We like to see a one to two ratio here. So you're not too far off one sponsored for every two organic. But let's scroll down and see, because you're clearly doing advertising, let's see how it's performing for you. So obviously yours is gonna show up first organic, best rating, so that's good. Um, some search traffic, but not very much. Let's look at those sponsored keywords and see how those are performing. Teeth kit plaque, dental plaque, plaque pick, um, remove plaque. Okay, those are good. Uh, not a lot of search traffic though within these. Let's, you know, that's interesting. I know it's a very competitive, very large category, but let's look at the the uh, keywords that folks are using the most within this category. Teeth whitening, I was really surprised you're not indexing for that at all. Uh, dental floss, you're, you're gonna be pages deep, and Sensodyne toothpaste, pages deep. Listerine mouthwash, pages deep. Kids toothpaste, you're not showing up at all, and I saw you had a kid's image in one of your, so interesting. It's, it's, it's neat to see this because, um, you know, like I said, keywords are changing all the time. We stick up with trends here and uh, it's something you don't set and forget. You've constantly got to manage it. Now back over to your listing here. So I see you've got six images, six videos. I looked at all the videos, basically someone putting it on the brush or going through the seven days. That was interesting. Um, now, the one thing I see right away is you have no pictures of people. You have got to get some lifestyle images and you want pictures with people smiling. Maybe even before and afters would be good here. Um, but truthfully, a picture with someone brushing their teeth, looking directly at the camera, you have to have this in your listing. Um, now, the other thing I would do too is I'd really get close up on your bottle. Try and get the bottle to fill up as much of the image, and I'm talking the entire square as possible. And the other thing, real quick, look at this. This image, so people le read from left to right, and although you can read all this, you have to turn your head. My recommendation would be turn the bottle this direction. That way the word fresh is easy to read. It sticks with your branding, right? Um, this direction, I, yeah, I would change it here. Do an A-B test on that. Um, you know, you can see we do those all the time. Now looking at your title, you have 146 characters. So a couple of suggestions here. Um, I would remove this hyphen, remove the parentheses, these plus signs, and put more keywords that are, are relevant within this search. I, uh, one thing I noticed, I don't see toothpaste anywhere, although I know this is a foaming gel. Um, toothpaste is still kind of, you know, the common word that folks use within this category. Now looking here, really good job with the parentage. I like that. Um, can you buy these in bulk too? Like, do you have a package of two or a package of three that you can get? That might be worthwhile on here. And scrolling down, so you only, you've got five bullets, but you've got really limited information here. There's tons of room for improvement here. Each bullet needs to have over 250 characters and you don't have that. So let's just take some of these things into account and I'll show you how they'll, they'll help you. So by having those lifestyle images in here, maybe updating some of the images that you have, increasing and maximizing the space that you have within your title, including your parentage, and then really loading up your about this item section is gonna do several things for you. It will give consumers more to read, more to see, more to watch, which will leave them on the listing longer, which equates to a higher conversion ratio. It's also going to help with you in your organic keywords, right? So indexing organically is very important. Um, and then lastly, watch as I scroll, competition always shows up right here. So if you had more information here, more information up top, people would have to scroll even further before they see the competitor's ads. It's not showing up now because I'm loaded into Helium 10. So I went to the Live Fresh store. Let's go over there real quick. 
All right. So if I remember correctly, you've got the toothpaste, you've got different uh, flavors of the toothpaste, excuse me, tooth gel. Oh, and then you've got, oh, teeth whitening strips, but they're out of stock. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, but you know what? See, an image, these images are good. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about within your listing. However, this is really not good. And it's not good to see it in your store. It's even hurting this listing too. When you have stockouts and people can see that in your store, it does a lot of damage for consumers, um, you know, and thinking I may not be able to order this product again. Why am I going to get it now? Um, and it also hurts your, your rating or your ranking within Amazon. It does really bad damage. Um, let's go down though and look at your branding here. All right, Live Fresh. You've got uh, the three, okay, three different um, flavors there. I want to look at your alt text behind your images. Okay, so you, you really need to improve this. You're missing alt text. The only, you're indexing now for the word recommended. And instead you should be indexing for kids toothpaste, Colgate toothpaste, Crest toothpaste, or, you know, uh, other, you know, maybe non-brand uh, keywords, and plaque remover for teeth, charcoal toothpaste, you know, words like that. So you're indexing for recommended, that's not good. Uh, eliminates. Yeah, you need, you could put so much more here and these words aren't relevant to your product as we scroll down. Okay, you've got the, the flavors there, but you've only got one word in each. So load this up with more text, please. Um, I see the word edible there, that's interesting. So this is empty, empty, empty. You need text behind those images. Here we go, that was the child image that I saw. Um, so you definitely need alt text in there. And then also too, you don't want anything repetitive, right? So uh, repetitive text behind your alt images is unnecessary. But so LiveFresh is good. I, I, I'm not like, I don't see the real branding. It talks about the, the, um, the wash for your teeth, but it doesn't really brand your store. So I wanna show you an example and this is not to compare products, but just to show you the listing that we put together for a company called The Age of Sage. It's a box set of four bars of men's soap. And you see, they've got their images, lifestyle images. They've got video, tons of text. They've got parentage. And then a lot of text here about this item. But remember, this men's soap is made by that company called Age of Sage. And look at this A+. Plus, uh, content and enhanced branding. So you see they're far more than just that men's soap. They also have, you know, women's soap. They've got bath bombs and, and wine tumblers and body creams and lotions. They've even got incense and smudge sticks. It tells their story. And then as you scroll down, you see more branding within their images, close-ups, a lot of text between each image. And look how long I'm scrolling on this listing too, which is good. Push those competitors further down and then you get to their product grid. All of this has shown to increase average order value, to drive more traffic, and to really help your sales on Amazon. So listen, it's my hope that I earned that phone call. Go ahead and click the link in my email that reads book a call. It'll open up my schedule where you can snag yourself a free 30-minute consultation. And if you do it soon, I may be able to get our founder, Stephen Pope, on the line with us. But hey, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.